Hey superstars, I'm Sue and welcome to my channel, Reviews with Sue. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and supporting our channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Sue and I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. So would you like to know what today's unboxing is all about? Well, let me show you. It is the Slight Lamb box. And if you want to know what's inside this box, then just keep on watching. Doing reviews just like I do. Hanging out with your friend Sue. It's Sue. And I'm back. And the Slay Glam Box here for January 2023. If you're not familiar with the Slay Glam Box, then let me tell you a little bit about it. Because you know that's what I like to do here on the channel. I like to tell you about it and then I show you what I got. Well, the Slay Glam Box is a monthly beauty box. But it's not your traditional kind because this box is going to have all makeup inside there. Now, once in a while, they even include a tool, which I'm totally okay with. In each of the boxes, you're going to receive approximately five different items. The price of the box each month is $20. $24 per month. However, if you sign up for three, six, or even 12 months, you can save a little bit of money there. It does include free shipping, and I do purchase this with my own money, but guess what? I still have a discount code I could pass on to you guys. It is Reviews with Sue, and that is going to give you 10% off your very first subscription. So if you sign up for month to month, you're only going to get 10% off that first month. But if you sign up for like, say, six months, you're going to get 10% off that full six months, which I think is totally amazing. You can follow them on Facebook, you can follow them on Instagram, and I think we should just go ahead and get into the box because I'm sure that's what you're waiting to see, right? So this is the box. This is actually how it does get delivered to me. You can see it does have a couple little straps on here, so it kind of looks like a little purse right here. It's pretty, it's pink, and it says Slay Glam Box right there. Now this one opens a little bit differently. It actually opens up from the top. I did cut the tape already, and you can see that is actually how it opens right there. And then when you go inside, there is a bundle of joy in there. I want to make sure there's nothing else in there. Now, last month, actually, for December, we actually got a bubble mailer, and that way, the owner could get them to us in time for Christmas, which I thought was really amazing. Now, I do think there's going to be one substitution in the bag this month, only because she wasn't able to get her creation out in time, so she had to substitute, I believe, February's palette for this palette that's going to be coming in this month. So this is the bubble wrap. This is my little bundle of joy. So let me see if I can go ahead and get into this and see what we got. Oh, that looks cute. Okay, I just saw something really cute. And you're going to see it here too in just one moment. So in here we have one, two, three, four. Usually there's five items. Oh, there's the fifth one. It was still, it was hiding in my bubble wrap. So the first item we have here is from Crown Cosmetics and it is a copper rock, and this is going to be a waterproof eyeliner. So you can see, this is what it looks like right there. It's in this pretty gold color right here, and let me see if I pull the top off, and that is what it looks like right there. So we do have a nice eyeliner there. So that was our first full-size item. The next item we have here, I believe, is going to be a... What is this for sure? I'm not even 100%. Oh, it's from Rasha B Cosmetics, so which is their, actually their own brand. And I do believe that this is going to be an eyeshadow topper right here. You can see it's going to be in that really pretty gold, so it's going to go really nicely with the eyeliner pen right there. But that is what that one looks like. I do have a friend that does um like these types of eyeshadows, so I might save it for her if she does want that. If not, I'll probably put it in a future giveaway because the odds are I probably won't be using that one. Okay, the next thing we have here is a lippy. It is a liquid lipstick, and I can't tell who this is from for sure, but this is the packaging. Now, tell me that is not the most adorable packaging ever. Now, I do remember seeing that there was like six different colors, so I don't know if everyone's going to get the same color or not, or everybody might get something a little different. This one looks like it's in the color 04. I don't know if there's actually any other writing on there or not, but that's what it looks like, and I don't know how to get into this, so I'm just like kind of screwing, okay. So I'm screwing the little lid here, as you can see, and then our color is right there. So it looks like it's gonna be like a really deep burgundy color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it because sometimes I do wear some burgundies. Ooh, now that one is a dark one and it actually does go on just like butter, or like really smooth. But I do love the packaging, so let me show it to you one more time so you can see it. Let me bring it a little bit closer so maybe you can read the make on that, I'm not sure. So there's that. And then this is the color right there. Now, I kind of globbed it on there a little bit on the heavy side, but it is a really pretty color. Will I wear it? I don't know. I might just wear it only if I have something like a deep burgundy color on. I probably would wear it. Or it would look like really nice with something like chocolate too. So there is that color right there. 
So let me wipe that off just so I don't get it on anything else here. So let me wipe that off. And as I'm wiping it off, it's not coming off like really fast. So when I say it's a tint, it's going to like stay on your hand. But now as I'm putting a little bit more pressure to it, it actually is coming off my hand right there. Okay. And the next thing we have is called the Glowing Palette Shimmers Kit Face Palette by Oakland. So here it is right there. This is the packaging and it says it is a glowing palette. So there is the colors on the back. So let's go ahead and pop into this one and see what it looks like. So this is what the packaging looks like there. And when you open this guy up, oh, is this pretty. Now, it does have a mirror right there, but check out these colors. Wow. I am keeping the little um, saver on there just to protect it. But this one over here almost looks like it could be like a bronzer almost. But look at all those gorgeous colors. So you could use this probably as a highlighter or eyeshadows, I want to say. But look at that. Look at this green right there. That is so pretty. Oh, I am loving all those colors there for sure. So there is that. So that was number four. And then for our final item, we have this guy right here. Now, if I didn't mention, which I don't think I did, each one of their boxes, you're always going to receive some type of a palette. And this month, we got two of them. Isn't that fabulous? So here is the last item. It's all nicely wrapped in the bubble wrap. I don't know why I just felt like I had to show you the bubble wrap. But oh my gosh, look at how cute this packaging is. I love it because it's pink. And this is actually from More the Celestial Love Pressed Pigments Palette. And here it's like gold and it's like embossed. It's like super pretty and I can like feel the embossing on it. And then the back, it actually does show all the colors. And it looks like we are going to have, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, 15 different colors. So let me see if I can get this open. It looks like it is sealed. So let me go ahead and cut that open and see if I can get this out of the package. So I'm just struggling here just a little bit. And uh -huh, it's like really pretty when you open it up. Look, so when you open it up, you get, you see this here and then you have these like little angel wings right there. And then these little flaps like open up like it's gonna fly away. And then you have your palette snuggled inside. Oh my goodness, this is just gorgeous, it is. Now this is the palette I believe that was supposed to come out in February, but because for some reason they weren't able to get their product done in time, they did, had to do a little swap Ola. So here is the palette right there. Look again how pretty this is embossed as well. On the back, you've got the colors there as well. And when you open it up, voila, oh, it is so pretty. So it does have a mirror here and it does have like some gold wings here around it, but the colors are just like out of this world. Wow, check these out. I love it when the eyeshadows are actually embossed and it makes me like not wanna touch it because then it's gonna ruin all those pretty shapes. You can see there's some stars there as in superstars. You knew I had to do that, right? And then you've got some suns in there and these colors are just really, really pretty. Now these are kind of like more up my alley because they're more like neutral kind of colors. And those are the kind that I actually like when I do wear eyeshadows. So that was our fifth item. I thought this was another amazing box and check out the thickness on this. I wonder how deep those pans actually go, but look at how cool it is. It has all that gold around there with the stars and it looks like some wind. And then it does say it more right there. So you could actually like put it on your shelf and then you can see exactly what palette is there on the side. So let's go ahead and do a quick little recap. So first of all, we have the gold eyeliner. Then we have the gold, and I do believe that this is going to be an eyeshadow, a liquid eyeshadow. Then we do have the lippy right here, which looks like a little champagne bottle, like cheers to everybody. Okay, then we have the glowing palette right there. And then our final item we have is the Mora Celestial Love Palette right there. Now, out of all these items, what is my favorite item? I think it's this one. I love the packaging on this. Will I use the eyeshadows? I don't know. You guys... I like to give away things. So I like to give things to my friends, my family, as well as to you guys. So you might just see some of these items down the road. And that's a lot of the reasons why I don't actually do a lot of swatching unless I know for sure I'm gonna probably keep the item for myself. So let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item is I received in my box today. Again, I will leave a link down below for the Slayland box as well as my discount code that'll give you 10% off. I don't get anything for that, but I do want you guys to save a little bit of money if you possibly can. And if you have and subscribe to my channel please hit that subscribe a like on your way it would be great if i have any giveaways going on i'm gonna leave those links down below in the description box and other than that that's all i have for you guys today so please be safe be well and i'll see you in the next video bye